Bless you all. Let's begin to share. Let's begin to invite our friends and families. It's a beautiful day, a beautiful week in the presence of the Most High. Oh, to invite our friends and families shall be well with us in the name of Jesus God bless you glory be to God in the highest glory 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 the worst situations of this 
magnify you there I am that I am we exalt your holy name the most faithful father the one that gives a faithful and balanced life let's begin to share let's begin to invite our friends and families God bless you Yes, Lord. We worship you, ancient of this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your faithfulness, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Yes, Lord. We worship you, O oh God. Glory, glory be to God in the highest. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I want us to begin to exalt the name of the Lord this morning. I want us to begin to magnify Him wherever we are. Let's begin to commune in our heart. Let's begin to commune in our heart. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. Yes, Lord. Good morning, ma'am. God bless you. We worship your shades of this. We magnify you. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. We are singing unto the Lord. We are singing unto the Lord. We are singing glory, glory, glory. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the grace you have bestowed upon us. Thank you, O God. We worship you this morning. We exalt you. We magnify you. Thank you, O God. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Thank you. We are singing praises and adoration to your holy name. Thank you, God. 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 Let's worship Him this morning. Greetings to you, my mommies and daddies. I celebrate every one of you joining this program this morning. It shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we answer all our praise in the name of Jesus. In the light, in the light of His what a glory He shed on our way. Well, we do His glory. He abides with us still. And with all who will trust them, obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy, Jesus, but to trust and trust and obey, trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus, 
but to trust and obey. Let's begin to exalt the name of the Lord. Let's begin to magnify His holy name. Forever, O Lord, O thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled forever, O forever. O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled forever, forever. O Lord, the word, thy word is settled. It's settled, it is settled forever, forever. Oh Lord, the world is settled in heaven, it is settled forever. Settled in heaven, it is settled forever, forever, forever. Oh Lord, oh thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled, and our God will worship you this morning. We exalt you, O God, because you alone deserve it. We magnify you this morning because there is none like you. We praise your holy name for a moment like this. We acknowledge you, O God. We worship you, we magnify your holy name because there is none like you. No one else can touch our lives the way you have done. No one else can touch our lives the way you are doing. No one else can uphold our lives the way you've been behind us and the way you are and the way you will forever be. We exalt you this morning. We magnify you this morning. Be thou exalted, O God. 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 We worship you, ancient of days. We magnify you, ancient of days. We acknowledge you, God. We exalt you, God. For all you are to us, for all you have been, for what you are going to be. Father, be thou exalted. We magnify you this day. We exalt you this day. Accept our praises and thanks, O God. 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 Father, if there is anywhere we've come short of your glory. We cannot even say if, because we know we sin on daily basis. We commit sins on daily basis. Is it through the thought of our heart? Is it our character? The way we react to situations? Father, all of these things are lack of trust and faith in you. Lord, we come before thee this day. Have mercy on us. 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 And forgive us, O God. And forgive us, O God. And forgive us, O God. Have mercy on us, O God. And forgive us, O God. Have mercy on us, O God. And forgive us, O God. Have mercy on us, O God, and forgive us, O God. Have mercy on us, O God, and forgive us, O God. Lord, everyone type in their amen. 
Everyone saying their amen. Everyone that is connected to this altar this morning. Lord, have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Watch us thoroughly from every of our iniquity, O oh God. Watch us thoroughly from every of our iniquities, O oh God. Watch us thoroughly from every of our iniquity, O oh God. We have come short of your glory in so many ways. We have committed so many grievous sins in our heart chances. We have said some things we are not supposed to say. We have thought some negative thought that is against your will for our life because of lack of trust. Father, we seek for mercy. Father, please forgive us this day. Lord, please forgive us this day. Father, please forgive us this day. Whatever sins we have committed, oh God, Lord, we pray that you forgive us. Whatever sins, oh God, we acknowledge ourselves, oh God, as the grievous sinners. Lord, we acknowledge ourselves as the as, as a prodigal son. We return to you, oh God. We ask for your mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Any sin that can obstruct our blessings for this week, every sin that can obstruct Struck our blessing for this day. Father, we pray you forgive us, O oh God. We pray you forgive us, O oh God. Father, please, we know nothing. We have no understanding. We solely rely on you. Lord, have mercy on us. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God. Father, we want you to manifest yourself, O oh God. We we sanctify ourselves this day, O oh God. I sanctify this podium with the blood of your son, Jesus. I sanctify everyone watching with the blood of Jesus. I sanctify all their environment with the blood of Jesus. Father, sanctify us. Father, sanctify us. Father, sanctify us. Every hand typing their amen. Lord, sanctify those hands. Sanctify their environment, O oh God. Sanctify every one of us here, O oh God, too. Father, Lord, sanctify us and wash us clean. Sanctify us and cleanse us, O oh God. Sanctify us and cleanse us, O oh God. Sanctify us and cleanse us, O oh God. Lord, we want you to sanctify this altar of prayer. We want you to un 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 give us wisdom and understanding, O oh God, to walk according to your will, to follow your trend, O oh God, to follow your, your path, O oh God. Father, this we ask, O oh God, that you sanctify this day for us, you sanctify this week for us, that every demonic agenda, every evil agenda, Agenda will not come to manifestation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered prayer. Thank you for the wisdom to journey this week. Thank you, O oh God, for the understanding, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for sending us help, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Once again, I want to welcome every one of you. For those of you that have been typing your amen, I celebrate you. I appreciate you for um, you know, being um committed. Um, you know, many times we'll be on the program. Some people left the phone already. They are sleeping. I pray that the Lord will touch you in the name of Jesus, especially when the Lord has sent a powerful message to you. I pray you will not be carried away by the things that have been sent to distract you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give you the strength, the wisdom to always understand the moment and time is and the season of your life. In the name of Jesus. Please, I quickly want everybody to share this program for me as many times as possible. In case you're just joining us, this program is from Monday through Friday. We started about 28 minutes ago. Please, I want you to set your alarm. Sometimes I have um, technical issues and I won't be able to share on time. So please... I plead with you to set your alarm. Isabel, just set your alarm to like 30 minutes ago. Let's actually, we have like two minutes before 30 minutes that we started. So please set your alarm so that even if I haven't shared the program to all our other platform or um, the WhatsApp group, you will get the notification. You wake up by yourself and, you know, get ready to meet with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, Once again, please share this video as many times as possible. I want to believe you're hearing me on Instagram. I want to believe you're hearing me on YouTube and you're also hearing me on um, Facebook. This morning, we want to pray. And before we pray, I want us to look into um, um, some, some, some things. Um, I'm going to read a scripture. If you got the notification when the program started, you will see the theme and the topic. It says, it, um, the, uh, uh, the waiting agency, like the um the wait agency. There are some agencies that come with your wait time. There are some agencies that come with your um perseverance. And we'll be talking, I think, for the rest of this week. 
even if for a few days. It depends on how time permitted. I won't, I'm not going to say we are going to treat this thing this whole week. It might take us a um, few days. It might take us a week. Um, the whole week. It depends on how um the time permits and how the spirit leads. You understand what I'm saying? So I want you to please share this program. This is a morning devotion, a daily devotion that where we pray together and we enlighten ourselves, we encourage ourselves, we speak life into our days. You know, we 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 nullify every demonic agenda that might be written against us. That is why I want to be seeing your comment as much as you can. I understand that it's early morning. People get I um, fall asleep immediately. I know it's the most sweetest time to get a um you know to enjoy your sleep. But if you if you ask me, I will tell you that this time is a very um powerful time that we need to you know commit our days our activities into the ends of god even though in some countries right now it is um it is during the day already they started the daily activities already hallelujah so still i want us to you know commune in our hearts i want us to uphold ourselves in prayer i want us to know that even though we have started our day already even though i am at my work already there is still something that the lord wants to tell you about this day about this week there is something you can hold on to to help you throughout the day throughout the week and i pray that as we are studying the scripture together as we are praying together i pray that the lord will visit you the holy spirit will lead you the holy spirit will guide you please do not get out of sharing the video i might not keep emphasizing on it I'm not, i might keep emphasizing on it but i just want to encourage you to please make sure you're communicating as much as you can and i pray that the lord god almighty we answer all our prayers in the name of jesus i'll be reading this um scripture um Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 15, from verses 21. I will take it one after the other. If you have your Bible, please read with me. If you do not have your Bible with you, just please, I want you to comment any word you see that, you know, call your attention. Why I am reading. I will read it in, um, in English. So I'm reading once again. Somebody can type it out for me on all our platform, um, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, please type it out. If you can type the scripture out so that people who are just coming in can see it, you can keep typing it as many times as possible. Matthew chapter 15 verses 21. I'm starting from 21 and, um, I read, he said, and behold, a woman of Cana came out came out of the same court and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a de devil, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Send her away. For she cried after us. The woman we are, this scripture is about a Canaanite woman. You might have heard about her. You might have not heard about her. But I want you to pay attention to this scripture as I will be reading. Because I know the Lord is talking to somebody this morning. Verses 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost ship of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Underline that verses 24b and verses 25. I want you to put a mark on verses Matthew 15 verses 24b and 25. Just put a sign on it. We are still coming back there. Verses 26. But he answered and said, It is not, it is not meet to take, it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast, cast it to dogs. I will read that place again. But he answered and said, It is not meant to take the children's bread and to cast to dogs. Please note that place. Verses 27 now. And he, she said, Truth, Lord, 
Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Verses 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, but it be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. 29. And Jesus departed from then and came near unto the sea of Galilee and went up into a mountain and sat down there. Verses 30. And great multitude came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, mimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Verses 31. In such much that the multitude wondered, then they saw the dumb to speak, the mind to behold, and the lamb to walk, and be blind, and the blind to see, and they glorify the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Something happened to the Canaanite woman. I just intentionally read that 29 to 31. But where we want to talk about this money is actually a fit of that Canaanite woman. Something came as an as the weight agency to that woman. That to us this day, we call it trauma. We call it trauma. Many of us, you understand what it means to wait. But a lot of us lack perseverance. Many of us, during our wait period, some agency surfaces, which number one today, I'll be talking about the trauma, which is one of the wait agency. This trauma, in our own recent time, this Canaanite woman experienced the same thing, but it doesn't see it as a trauma. But this day, we see it as what? We see it as trauma. During your wait period, some things came to you. I won't expand too much today because this is just one hour program which I want to utilize the, utilize the time perfectly. But we are talking about the traumatic moment during our waiting period. What was your own trauma like? What is it that brought about that traumatic moment? What is it that during your wait period has broken you so badly that even when your faith was rebuilt, you couldn't regain it? You couldn't get your, put yourself together. Let me tell you what this trauma will do to you. It will break you. It will break some bones in you. It will bring some insta internal strength in you. These internal strengths are the ones you need. To sustain yourself when the manifestation came. When the Lord finally answered that prayer. Or let me say for those of you that you don't believe in miracle. When your efforts later germinate some good fruits for you. When it later um, gather some fruitfulness, some establishment, some success. Later comes with, you know, your work, your hard work. Like we will say your also. When your also later pays. But during those period of hustle, during those period of wait to the believers, what are those things that has caused you a lot of traumatic moments that you cannot even let go? That right now, for you, when you are when you have accomplished what you desire, when you have gotten your result, when you have gotten what you have been waiting for, do you still have that inner strength? You know, when, what, why am I talking about inner strength? The inner strength to shield what the Lord has finally answered. Your praise. To, to, you know, to protect that vision that you have built. To protect that your, uh, uh, the, the success you have accomplished. To protect every good thing that you have established for yourself. There are some traumatic moments that we need not to pay attention to. Hallelujah. There are some things that if we allow them to penetrate in our lives, the more you exalt it, exalt them, the more you think about how they came into your life, the more you become traumatized and the more you become broken, even though you have gotten everything you wanted. But look at this Canaanite woman. There are a lot of words that were said to her 
Jesus intentionally, or I, I wouldn't say intentionally, or let me say intentionally, or I, the Bible did not really say why Jesus altered such statement to her. But I would say those words came out of Jesus' mouth intentionally. Do you know why? Because is, he actually wants to know if this person truly deserve to be to deserve um um what's it called to to show that passion to show that mercy on maybe this person deserve what she re she requested of maybe this person deserve what she's asking of does she even have the strength to carry this miracle when it finally surfaces sometimes some things that you see as a traumatic um moment in your waiting period these things might be that Okay, let's see how this person can persevere. Let's see how how uh, uh, um rugged your faith is. Let's see if it's what what you desire. It's what's given to you. Praise the Lord. Let's see if even after you receive what you have, you have the strength to shield it. You have the strength. You have the ability. Let me use that word. You have the ability. You know to keep forging ahead. So that it won't just be a limited period of time that you will enjoy it. So what I am trying to tell you this day is. Now I want you to have a rugged fit. Because while I was talking last night about this Canaanite woman. I, or what I can see is a rugged fit. This woman have a rugged fit that. Even those traumatic experiences. Have no weight over her. Have no power over her. She never allowed it to break her down. She never allowed that traumatic experience to make her give up on what she's waiting for. The same thing I am encouraging you this day. How many of us will somebody you are looking to help you will tell you that get out of here, you dog. Many of us will say, who are you? Who are you to tell? Is it because you want to help me? Is it because I, 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 I've come to you, I brought myself to you? I know many of us will say, it's not your, it's, um, what was it called? It's not your fault now. It's because me that I'm seeking something. It's because of me that I needed something. That is why you think you can talk to me anyhow. That is why you think, oh, I am here and you can, you can talk to me in the presence of everybody here. I have seen somebody that in this present time, when a man of God is saying something, you say, oh, it's embarrassing to you because um, um, this and that. It is because you do not have a rugged faith. Some things will happen in that your church. Just because the Lord wants to know that even if I give you this desire, do you have that rugged faith to keep pushing it, to keep shielding it? Now, do not let's not talk about faith now. Let's talk about inner ability. Do you have that inner strength to quench that traumatic experience that you have experienced during your wait period? Those things that were said to you, you were once called barren. They tag you, tag you barren. They said nothing good can ever come of you. They said you have aborted all your children that you can never conceive again. And yet you allow that to be a trauma to you. You break down at a corner every night. Even to have a nice time with your husband, you deny him of that because somebody called you barren in his family. Because somebody somewhere said you can never have a child. Because somebody points a shaming or um a um what's it called an embarrassing figure at you and say, Oh, look at you. You do you think something good can ever come out of you? You want to teach and you think God will now look at somebody who is broken and given a unique child to such person. No. If Mary was weakened, God will not grant her that opportunity to be given Jesus to her. To have given Jesus to her. I am telling you, all you are waiting for, all you are working for, all of this, your hustle, you need to back it up with a rugged faith. You need to back it up with a rugged faith. And if you think you're not a believer, you don't believe in a miracle, you believe in the work of your hands, which the Bible has preached against or teach against, I am telling you that still you need a rugged inner strength. That no matter what comes to you, you will not pay attention to the traumatic experience that is one of the agency of your wait period. You will not pay attention to anything that can break you even after accomplishing all that you desire or what you're working for. I might not be making sense to 100% of everybody here, but I'm, I am sure I am speaking to somebody as the Lord has led me to this scripture this day. 
I want you to build a faith like, like that Canaanite woman that despite everything Jesus said to her. It might be because Jesus was the one who said it to her. But what about these disciples that intentionally went to Jesus and said, send this woman away. She's distracting us. She's a distraction to us. Many people see your proposal today in their office as a distraction. They take your file and throw it somewhere. Because you're not seeing anything, you're not hearing any response from them. You're broken already. You allow those things that were sent to you by that email to break you and make you lose hope on your greater vision. You are wrong. You need to build a rugged faith. You need to build an inner strength. An inner strength that is not only working for that wait period. That is going to help you to sail through that traumatic experience during your wait period. Those inner strength, those rugged faith that can back you up and shield you after you have accomplished everything you desire. That inner strength that will help you, teach you, and guide you, shield those children, to nurture them, to guide them in the right path. That rugged faith that will, that will help you to keep forging ahead, even after you have gotten the first step of your vision, or you have accomplished the first step of your success. We all have a peak in life. Even if you're there, you always want to desire more. Do you have what it takes? To protect and keep guiding the ones you have at hand? Or are you being still traumatized by the, your experience while you were waiting and walking towards that success, that present success, that, or that desired success, that desired prayer point, that the, um, whatsoever you desire, that's, you know, expectation of yours? Do you have that rugged faith to keep forging ahead? Do you have that inner strength? Or you are still traumatized? By what you're experiencing, even though you have not gotten what you hacks of, are you being broken right now because of what somebody somewhere said to you? Are you being, you know, are you restricting yourself in doing something because you have failed more than twice, more than three times, more than four times? Are you being, are you, are you broken right now because you think, oh, you are the least of them all that applied for that position? Are you being broken right now because of what some interviewer said to you or why their expression was saying to you? You know, we interpret expressions differently. Maybe during that interview, you have an eye contact with that interviewer and you think, oh, I do not think this one will want to, ref re um, re um, you know, reference me or recommend me. That's the word. Recommend me to the company to hire. But I'm telling you this day, you need to build your your rugged faith. The woman refused to be traumatized by, by that experience. She refused to be broken. She refused because she, she, had a, she had a target. The same way you and I had that target. The same way you and I have where we are picturing to feature. We all have that specific thing that we know that when we get here, it might not be the final destination, but it will be an accomplishment for us. It will be something to add to our profile that, yes, I have made this. Hallelujah. I just want you to think about what we are discussing this morning. Build up your rugged faith. That is my bone of contention. Build up your rugged faith. Do not be traumatized by the experience. By those experiences you encounter during your wait period, do not be broken. Do not allow your inner strength to be shattered, to be broken because of that traumatic experience. Do not allow whatever that is happening through your during your wait period to break you. Trauma is not something that will help you to establish your life. It will only cause you more pain. It will only cause you more weakness. It will only break you the more. You keep them to destroy your inner strength. You keep those traumatic periods to, to break your inner strength, to destroy that vision, to make you think less of yourself, to make you see yourself as someone who is not up to the tax. That is what I am saying. Is somebody who has... See, let me tell you something. In the States, I don't know in other countries, people visit psych, um, 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 therapists. They go, some people visit the, um, the therapist because they feel like, okay, this trauma is not going away. 
There, some people are placed on medication right now. You know, I understand what it means to be traumatized. I understand what it's how how much damage that it can do to you. You know, but what if when that thing occurs? Well, if when that thing occurs, you build that inner strength and say, Father, all I need is you at this time. Do not say, okay, I think I need to see a doctor. I, I'm not saying medical is not good. I'm not saying you should not see a therapist or a psych. I'm not saying you should not go to them because those people, God created them and give them that wisdom to help you through the journey. The way he has established some pastors, evangelists, um, uh, um, prophets, prophetess, ministers of God. In fact, the ministers of God in songs as well. He has established those people in each department to be of help to every one of us. Some people, once they hear the word of God, they feel relieved. Some people, until they get to the medical, um, do until they get a medical assistance before they feel good, before they feel better. I am not saying you should not see them if you feel like you're seeing them. But all I'm saying is when you're building a rugged faith, you need not to allow any traumatic experience to break your inner strength. I want you to write it down that I refuse to be broken by any traumatic experience. I refuse to be broken. I refuse to, to let go of my faith because of any traumatic experience. I want you to make it your watchword. I have seen somebody that. Each time she cannot pray, she feels so weakened, she started crying. All she does is just say a word. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my strength. My shield and my buckler. In him, I will build my strength. This person keeps saying all of this wash word. And it has been so helpful to her that even I, I am always happy whenever she said, I just finished saying my wash word. And I think I feel better. Do not allow any traumatic experience to break your inner strength. That is the word I have brought to you, I have bring to you this morning. I, I want you to have a rugged faith like that Canaanite woman. She was called a dog. She was called an alien. She was called many things. But guess what? She built up that inner strength. She doesn't allow that traumatic, traumatic experience to break her. She had a rugged faith. And guess what Jesus told her at the end? She said, he, he told her, he said, go, your faith has set you free and your request has been granted. The, the child that was not with her was made home at home immediately. The woman came. She was bullied. She was embarrassed. She was insulted. The same way you have been insulted. You went to that office where you're supposed to be helped. Somebody looked at you and said, I cannot hear your accent. Can you, you have a accent? You got an accent? That, you know, that's the way they ask us. It's, you know, in diaspora, they would say, you got an accent? You got an accent? You know, I got an accent, but I speak English. You can actually hear me because when I write, you can read, right? So just open your ears and hear me, you know? I have been saying that with a lot of smiles on my face. To the glory of God, I've en encountered so many bullies, especially during those times that I do different kind of courses. But guess what? I just, some, you know, when I first came some years ago, I would feel so down and, you know, I wouldn't want to talk to them. Even I would just say, can I write it down for you and this and that. But one day I just built up that courage and said, People I'm, are also human. They are not, they are not, they have no authority over my life. So let me talk to them. So ever since then, I was like, just all you need to do is pay attention. Don't look at my lips. Just pay attention. You open your ears and you hear me. I say it with a smile on my face. When they say, I'm sorry, you got an answer. Yes, I can. But you can still hear, right? For you to read and understand what I wrote down, you can hear me. So please, let's get serious. You know, those are some kind of courage you should build yourself. You have, when you have that rugged faith, even though when challenges arose, when somebody embarrass you or use your present situation to, you know, to mock you, to embarrass you, you just look at them and smile and say, this is just for a moment. It's not going to last forever. You know, so today, do not allow that traumatic experience to break your inner strength.
Do not let it break you down because you will need that inner strength when the Lord grants your desire. You will need it when everything you desire comes to manifestation. When all you have prayed for, all you have labored for, come into the limelight. You will need it. You will need that inner strength. But if you allow the traumatic experience during your wait period to break you, I don't know what I'm going to call trauma in Yoruba. So whatever way I interpret it in Yoruba, please just bear with me. You all know what it means to be traumatic. Even though you're not lazy, some people still call you a lazy person. They still call you a lazy bean. Even when you're not lazy, you know it, you're not lazy. That could build up a trauma for you. You could keep thinking about it, keep pondering on it. But when you have that, when your inner strength, it's not tampered with. When you have that rugged fit, that regardless of whatever name you call me, I know who I am. I know what I am. I know that I am not lazy. I know that I'm trying all I could. I know even though I am a prayer warrior, I still put in more effort to accomplish that thing. And I pray for you this morning. For as many of you that you're not tired or bored about, about this teaching this morning, I am praying this prayer for you that your inner strength will not be broken in the name of Jesus because you need that inner strength to forge ahead after you have been established after your desire has been granted after your proposal has been approved you need it you need that inner strength when all of this waiting period passed I decree into your life that your inner strength will not be broken that whatever mockery that have been said about you, whatever insult you have experienced, I pray for you this day that the Lord will help you to build that inner courage, to build that inner strength, to keep forging ahead in the name of Jesus. Every traumatic moment, every traumatic experience that want to break you, that want to deny you, that want to revisit your past, I decree that the Lord will nullify them in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will back you up. He will sustain you. You, the Lord will uphold you. Your faith in Him will not be moved. Your faith in God will not be shaken in the name of Jesus. I am praying for every one of you this day that that rugged faith to decree a thing and stand on it that I know this is what I have worked for. This is what I have asked for and this is what will come to establishment in my life. That rugged faith that will make you keep trusting. That rugged faith that will hold, that will make you hold your faith so firm that nothing will be able to break you. The Lord will release it and give you the grace to abide and join it in faith in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you that grace that you need in the name of Jesus. That grace, it takes the grace of God to build such rugged faith, to keep waiting that I know this is where the success is. I have been working towards it. I have been doing everything I needed to do. I am also waiting and praying unto the Lord for the perfect timing. I know it will come to manifestation. I pray that the Lord grant you such grace in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord release such grace unto you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I want us to pray this prayer. You know, I don't know how many of us here that have picking one or two in that prayer. But I want us to pray this prayer. Father Lord, I need an inner strength to keep trusting you. Lord, Olorun fun mi ni okun ati nuwa ti ma fi le ma duro lati ma fi sere ti re. Lord, I need that inner strength to back me up. Mo ni lu ati leyin okun ati nuwa ti o fi ni re mi ni irin ajo ire ti mi that I will not get tired or weary in my journey of faith, in my hopeful journey. Lord, I need that inner strength oh God that we can Quench every traumatic moment, every traumatic experience that is breaking me down. Lord, I need that inner strength. I need that inner strength, oh God. My Lord and my God, I need that inner strength, oh God. 
I need it. That inner strength that will back up my, my, my faith. That inner strength that will help me to keep trusting, to keep holding on, to keep believing, to keep persevering. Oh Lord, I need that inner strength. That inner strength that will uphold me, that will not allow me to pay attention to any negativity. Lord, please, I need it. I need it, oh God. Release it to me, oh God. Release it to me, oh God. Release it to me, oh God. Is somebody praying this prayer? Is somebody praying this morning? Mommy, are you praying? Daddy, are you praying? Lord, I need that inner strength. My Lord and my God, I need that inner strength. Lord, I need that inner strength. That inner strength oh God, that will uphold me. That inner strength, oh God, that will help my rugged feet to keep forging ahead, to keep working on my success, to keep working on that establishment. Lord, I need that inner strength. Help me, oh God. 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 I need that inner strength. Help me to build that inner strength, oh God. Help me to build that inner strength, oh God. That inner strength, oh God, to keep trusting you, to keep forging ahead, to keep gathering uh, um, wisdom, to to keep forging ahead to, to, to until I achieve that establishment, oh God. Lord, I need that inner strength to, to help my hope, oh God, to build my hope, oh God. I need that inner strength, oh God, to strengthen me, oh God, so that I will not be weary, so that I will not be tired of waiting. Lord, I need that inner strength. Father, I need that inner strength. Is somebody praying with me this morning? Is somebody praying that prayer with me? Are you praying, mommy? Are you praying, daddy? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 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 Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I want to pray with us this morning. Please, I want you to begin to type your amen. We have just a few more minutes to spend here. I want you to begin to type your amen continuously as I'll be praying for you. You see this trauma, you need to take it off yourself. It's weighing you down. See, that woman prayed. She screamed. She called out for help. But guess what? The circumstances around her, the situation around her, the test of faith, has brought some so traumatic experience which the woman should have clamored on, which she would have, um, you know, held on to and said, because I was called a dog, because I was called an alien, I think it's okay. I don't think this is a savior. I don't think this is God. The same thing that is happening to you right now, that you're saying, I don't think this is the way the Lord wants me to go. I don't think this is what the, the plan of God for me is. Let me tell you one secret this morning. If that wasn't the initial plan of God for your life, you wouldn't even start the, the step at all. It wouldn't even give you the grace or the vision on how the uh, everything will end to the extent that you will start a proposal towards it. If it is not the, um, the desire of God for your life, where you are right now, you would either been, would have been deported or something somewhere would have happened that you decided in your heart to go back home. I told somebody some time ago that the Lord said you came into the States at the wrong time. It is where he wants you to be, but you came in at the wrong time. I remember vividly back then the lady decided that, oh, this person, she's just saying negative vision. Oh, I'm so scared. Ah, this and that. But the other sister was encouraging her that this person... I have been with her. I trust God in her that God has really called her. But the other lady said, no, this is not what I, I want to be free. I am not going back home. I don't want to be deported. And lo and behold, when she was deported, I remember saying that the Lord is going to do something and she will be so flagabasted. But you know, sometimes you are only traumatized by what is around you. You are not even looking at the future. You're not looking at the, you are not picturing what is ahead of you. You are not, you are only thinking about what is happening at the current period of time. That woman didn't think about that. He knew, she knew that she is at the right place. She knew that this is a savior. So whatever God, um, Jesus was saying that time, she, she, she doesn't want to pay attention to it. Instead, the Bible said in that verse 24, that she, is if verse 24 or 26, that she worshiped, she knelt down by his feet and still worshiped. 
Many of us, when God is showing you some visions, you say, oh, this is not what I wanted. You think you have another escape route. No. It's better you believe it and build that rugged faith immediately. Okay, God, is this what you're saying? Okay, what's another way out? Do you want me to wait? Yes, you wait. And you quietly wait. You won't keep remembering how many times you have fallen. Those fail failure was just meant to build you and not to make the same mistake you made before. I am praying for somebody this morning. I am praying for those of you that you need that strength. That strength to know when to cry and when to stop crying. I decree, oh God, the Lord will back you up with inner strength. In the name of Jesus, the grace not to give up on your vision, the grace not to give up on yourself, the Lord will give it unto you. The Lord will release it unto you. In the name of Jesus, you will not give up on your faith. You will not give up on your vision. In the name of Jesus, your children will not give up on their vision. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you this morning that every of your offspring, they will not give up. Oh, it will not give up. They will not give up. In the name of Jesus, they will not give up. You will not give up. The Lord will grant you that inner strength. He will give you the grace to, uh, to be established. In the name of Jesus, He will grant you that your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, Oh my, and that kick on your friend. He will release that rejection. He will release it. And you see, you have rejected it. So he will release it that my daughter, my son doesn't want it. Let me release this and let it go away. Let it be consumed by fire and be destroyed completely. Because my daughter rejected it. Because my son rejected it. I pray for you that the Lord will grant you that inner strength that you need for you not to break down, for you not to break up in the name of Jesus, for you not to deny yourself of that good time, for you not to deny yourself of that fulfillment of destiny. You will not break up. You will not break down in the name of Jesus. You will not break up. You will not break down in the name of Jesus. You need that backup. You need that, you need that internal strength. The Lord will release it to you by his mercy, by his mercy. He will release that in a strength, you need it. Only look on you. O kunu te nyo fin jaja yori, to fin jini anji, to fin shi a she yori, ti o fini su, ti o fini re, ti o fini kusono bi okwele e fi, olor un fun olori o fenye, the Lord will release that grace unto you, in the name of Jesus, to the inner strength you need, to keep forging ahead, so that you will not give up on yourself, so that your children will not give up on you, so that you will not give up on your children, so that you will not lead them astray, so that you will not be weakened and be destroyed, the Lord will give you that inner strength, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not break up you will not break down in the name of jesus whenever you're supposed to be standing tall you will not break down in the name of jesus whenever you're supposed to be fighting for what the lord has given to you you will not break down in the name of jesus you will not break down in the name of jesus is somebody typing the amen is somebody understanding this prayer point are you understanding are you understanding do you understand what the lord has sent me to tell you this morning that breaking up is not an option breaking down is not an option breaking up is not an option breaking down is not an option you will stand and stand tall in the name of jesus regardless of how many times you have been disgraced you regardless of whatever names they have called you you will stand and stand tall in the name of jesus you will come out of that situation strong in the name of jesus you will not come out broken you will not come out dead in the name of jesus you will not come out broken you will not come out dead in the name of jesus you will not break down you will not be denied of your happiness in the name of jesus your Faith will back you up in the name of Jesus. Your hope will not be shattered. Your hope will not be shattered. Your hope will not be lost in the name of Jesus. Your hope will not be shattered. Your hope will not be broken in the name of Jesus. Heaven will give you that strength, that inner internal strength, that internal strength that you need to keep forging ahead. The Lord will grant it to you. The Lord will grant it to you. The Lord will grant it to you. Many of us are tired. Many of us are weakened. Many of us have been mocked. Many of us have been traumatized. I pray that the Lord will lay his divine hands upon you. He will lay in divine, his divine hands upon you and you will rise again. You will not be broken. You will not be broken. You will not be broken. Every brokenness in you, the Lord will gather them together and it will become your strength in the name of 
Jesus. Every brokenness in you, the Lord will gather them together and it's become an inner strength for you. You, The Lord will uphold you. You will be sustained in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of that fire strong in the name of Jesus. That fire will not consume you. It will not consume you. That wait period, you will not destroy. You will not be destroyed. That wait period, you will not be destroyed. You will not be broken in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will back up your faith in the name of Jesus with a greater testimony that will make you celebrate. The Lord will back your effort up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I want you to begin to speak into your day. As we are rounding up this section, I want you to begin to speak life into your day. Begin to speak into your day. Begin to say, Father, every agenda of the wicked against, against this day, Lord, nullify them. Every agenda for me to weep, oh Lord, nullify them. Every agenda for me to mourn, Lord, nullify them. Every agenda of accident against my life, Father, please nullify them. Is somebody praying with me this morning? Is somebody praying with me this morning? Begin to speak life into your day. Begin to speak life into your day. Begin to speak life into your day. You say this day, hear the word of God. You will bring fruitfulness to me. Power out there, Banuje. Sudden death will not be our portion. If somebody praying, begin to speak life into your day. Begin to speak 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 into your day. Say, Father, Lord, this day shall be blessed for me. This week shall be blessed for me. Shall be a blessing to me. It shall be a blessing to me and not chaos. In the name of Jesus, are you praying? Are you praying that? Are you praying, mommy? Are you praying, daddy? Are you praying? Oh, Lord, why? Esther, do you need Lord, are you for me? Eh, yeah, do you need some more for me? Lord, sanctify this day for me. 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 Mommy, are you praying? Daddy, are you praying? Mommy, are you praying? Daddy, are you praying? Lord God Almighty, sanctify this day for me. Sanctify this day for me. Bless this day for me. Bless this day for me. This day shall bring goodness to me. This day shall bring blessings to me. Are you praying, mommy? Are you praying, daddy? Lord, let this day be a day of blessing. Let this day be a day of fulfillment for me. Is somebody praying here? Is somebody praying here? Are you praying, sir? Are you praying, ma? Mommy, let's pray. Daddy, let's pray that, oh God, this day, oh God, all I pray for is your mercy. All I pray for is, a, is your fulfillment. Oh God, all I pray for is an inner strength, oh God, to not be broken, to not be weary, to keep awful. Lord, I'm, I'm praying that the inner strength that will make me hopeful, that will back up my hope, oh God, I pray this day. Lord, sanctify this day for me. Is somebody praying with me? Is somebody praying with me? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Please bring out your water if you have your water with you. Please bring out your water if you have your water with you. Just I it out. Say water. Say water. Yeah, God bless you, every one of you praying with me this morning. I am so happy. Anytime I see people praying with me, anytime I see that people are commenting, when I see them, you know, um, spiritually lifted, I'm always happy. God bless every one of you that come out today to pray with me. Please bring out your water. If you have your water there, just type it out. Say water. Come out today to pray with me. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Do you have your water with you? As I'll be praying inside this water, you will just continue to say, Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. You continue to say, Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. That is what you will be saying inside that water as I'll be reading the scripture. I read this scripture in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. The heaven declares the glory of God, and the firmament shield is and walk. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night uttereth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them at is set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and is circled unto the ends of the earth, and there is nothing hid from thereof. 
The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse us, O God, from every secret fault. Cleanse us, O God, from every secret fault. Keep us, O God, from every presumption sins. Let not them have, do not let them have dominion over us. Then shall we be upright, and we shall be innocent from the great transgressions. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy strength. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I sanctify that water with the blood of Jesus. I pray that the power of the Most High God sanctify that water. That water is blessed in the name of Jesus. That water become the tool for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Whenever you drink that water, every venom, every poison in your system shall be flushed out in the name of Jesus. The power of the Most High will flush out every poison that you have been in, that you have ingested or you have been fed in your dream in the name of Jesus. That water is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. That water is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. That water is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. That water is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. That water is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and by with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. And we all will say, surely, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I celebrate every one of us this morning. Thank you for joining. Thank you for standing by. Please, before you leave, you came in late, I want you to please um, share this video as many times as possible. Please, when you share this video, you know, it gets to people who need this word of encouragement, who also need to be blessed. You are doing the work of evangelism. Don't say we have fit, we are done on the program and you wouldn't want to share. Please share it. And if you're on YouTube, please like the video. If you're on Facebook, please like the video and send it to your friends and family. And please, um, I do not want us to be coming in late, please. I do not have had me on this morning program that will share out. Please set your alarm and always join us from Monday through Friday. The Lord God Almighty will put every one of us in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. I love you all. I want you to type your seven hallelujah before you leave. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God, 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 glory in the highest. God bless every one of you. I love you all. Thank you, everyone that is praying for me and all my gifters. Thank you so much. I am, I know I didn't mention your names because, you know, as the Holy Spirit was leading me earlier, I do not want to interrupt that teaching. I really appreciate you. While I was, um, you know, giving that word of exhortation, I saw a lot of gifters that were blessing me on Facebook. I pray that you will never lack every good things of life in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will bless everything you do in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Mommy Evangelist, I'm a bit okay. Yeah, I know some people sometimes are at work. Yes, I appreciate. I appreciate. Thank you for thank you for that comment. I know some people are at work. Um, that's why I don't really always want to emphasize on, you know, people who um comment on that. But I know sometimes we can just comment and just share while we quickly um enter the program. God bless every one of you. I love you all. Please take care of yourself. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Don't forget to join our Father in the Lord this afternoon, um, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, um, the U.S. Time, 4 p.m. Canadian Time. And um, what was it called? Um, 
That's going to be 9 p.m. UK and Nigerian time. God bless you. I love you all. Please stay blessed.